pain is an extremely subjective sensation. A sensory and emotional experience, through which our body tells us that there is damage to the body's tissues. Once generated, the painful stimulus travels along specific nerve pathways to the spinal cord and from there it arrives directly to the brain, in a part called thalamus, a real sorting station that distributes the painful impulse to the different parts of the brain, which will cause motor and sensory reactions. Pain is physiological, it is a vital symptom, a defense system that is the basis of our survival. Each person reacts differently to a certain painful stimulus, based on previous experiences and on what is called the pain threshold, that is the point at which a sensation passes from harmless to painful. Tolerance on the other hand, indicates the ability of the mind and body to endure that pain for a certain period of time. However, there are some pains that are objectively the most atrocious to endure. Let's see what they are. Renal colic. Kidney stones are small pebbles, i.e. aggregations of mineral salts that form in the urinary tract, which are initially crystals, then microcalculations, and finally can reach the size of a golf ball. In this case, there will be a sharp and sudden pain in the side affected by the obstruction that extends into the abdominal and lumbar region and is called renal colic. It is often described as a stab in the side and the person suffering from it cannot find a position that will allow them to relieve it. The pain is due to the particularly violent contractions of the muscles of the ureter, a canal that connects each kidney to the bladder, which tries in every way to expel the stone. Delivery Childbirth is a unique moment in every woman's life, and the repeated muscle contractions and the progressive advancement of the newborn in the birth canal cause a lot of pain. Everything is then amplified by the fear and emotional tension of the moment. Childbirth is a painful experience, but it varies from woman to woman and can be managed with the right assistance. Even in the postpartum period, intermittent and painful contractions of the uterine muscles occur, which have the task of bringing the uterus back to its normal pregestational size. They affect the lower abdomen and resemble menstrual cramps, lasting about 6-8 weeks. Cluster headache. It is a form of headache characterized by excruciating and stabbing pains, so much so that it earns the name of suicide headache. It is extremely painful and tends to affect only one side of the head, generally in the eye and temple area, but can also extend to the neck, forehead, and jaw. The pain is caused by the excessive dilation of the cranial blood vessels that put considerable pressure on the trigeminal nerve. The attacks occur in active periods called clusters, lasting weeks or months, interspersed with periods of remission in which pain is absent, which can last for months or sometimes years. The pain quickly reaches its peak, remains constant for the duration of the attack, and then disappears quickly. In other cases, the pain remains quiescent, that is very low until it increases again in intensity. Patients who suffer from it describe the pain as being stabbed in the eye, which causes them to cry and scream, until they literally hit their head against the wall. Women who have had episodes of cluster headache as them to find the pain as higher than that of childbirth, where you're forced to endure excruciating pangs without anesthesia, once or twice a day, for several weeks at a time. Broken Bones when a bone is subjected to an external force greater than its resistance capacity, such as in a car accident or a fall, it can break and result in a bone fracture. Bone fractures can be very painful, because the periosteum, the connective sheath that lines the bone tissue, is richly vascularized and full of nerve endings. Pain, swelling, and redness are the most obvious symptoms of a fracture. One of the most painful fractures is that of the ribs, which causes intense pain, which becomes more acute during inhalation or following rotational movements of the chest. Broken ribs can't be set in a cast, and you are forced to remain motionless in bed. Burns Burns are more or less extensive lesions of the skin that can also involve the deeper structures of the body, such as adipose tissue, muscles, and bones. They are caused by heat, electricity, radiation or chemicals, and are classified according to the depth and extent of tissue damage. Third-degree burns are the most serious and affect all three layers of the skin, 
epidermis, dermis, and hypodermis. Contrary to what one might think, there is almost never pain because the nerve endings are destroyed, thus making the burned part insensitive to stimuli. Second-degree burns on the other hand, are injuries that involve both the superficial layer of the skin, the epidermis, and the one below, the dermis. It is particularly vascularized and rich in nerve endings, which is why they are much more painful than first-degree burns, as well as presenting symptoms of greater intensity. Trigeminal Neuralgia It is a chronic syndrome that causes excruciating pain in the face and is due to a malfunction of the trigeminal nerve that is the five pair of cranial nerves of the twelve total present in the human body. It is the largest of all the cranial nerves, and has the task of transmitting all information perceived at the level of the face directly to the brain, as well as controlling the muscles involved in chewing. Trigeminal neuralgia seems to be caused by a contact between a blood vessel that runs nearby and the trigeminal nerve, triggering a compression on the nerve end. This causes a functional alteration for which the trigeminus sends abnormal signals to the brain. This causes episodes of acute pain similar to an electric shock, which can last several seconds and recur for days, weeks or months, or even become chronic. Like cluster headaches, it typically affects only one side of the face, most commonly the right side. Even mild stimulation of certain areas of the face, such as brushing teeth, chewing, talking or using the razor, can also trigger a painful attack in affected people. St. Anthony's Fire or Shingles Shingles, or more correctly herpes zoster, is an infectious disease caused by a reactivation of the same virus that causes chickenpox. It remains silently active in the nerve endings of the individual, and can be unleashed even after many years, but in a different form. It is characterized by the appearance of skin rashes that evolve into blisters or bubbles and causes very strong and excruciating pain. Herpes zoster is nothing more than the union of two words that translated from Greek mean snake and belt and appropriately describe a painful disease, like a snake of fire that lurks inside the body and often leaves disabling consequences. The first symptom of St. Anthony's fire is usually burning, tingling, or itching, usually located in a specific area of the body, such as a side, chest, or face. 